for another evening of Treasures from the Disney Vault. I'm your host, Leonard Maltin, and tonight's feature films have one thing in common. They were all made after Walt Disney's passing. But it was Walt who purchased the rights to famous British children's author Mary Norton's book and started developing the story for our next film, 1971's Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Walt started this in case material author T.L. Travers put the kibosh on his adaptation of her Mary Poppins story. The Sherman Brothers even started writing songs for Bed Knobs at that time. But as you know, Poppins went ahead, and this film wasn't produced until 1970. It reunited much of the Mary Poppins team, including co-star David Tomlinson, and suffered by comparison, which really isn't fair. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks is an entertaining movie in its own right. With Angela Lansbury as an apprentice witch named Eglantine Price, searching for a way to help the British cause during World War II. The highlight of her adventures is a visit to the animated Isle of Nabumbu, where you'll see Disney magic at its best. Speaking of magic, we're kicking off tonight's film affair with a Mickey Mouse cartoon from 1937 called Magician Mickey. Now, on with the show. No hit songs emerged from the Sherman Brothers' score, but Bed Knobs and Broomsticks has always had a devoted following. My favorite scene is the extended visit to the Isle of the Boom Boo, which was supervised by veteran Disney animator and director Ward Kimball. I love the cartoony look of the character and the spirit of the whole sequence. In retrospect, it's a shame that Walt Disney didn't option Mary Norton's better-known book, The Borrower, although it has been well-served in its TV and movie adaptation. Like so many major Disney movies, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks made its U.S. debut at New York's Radio City Music Hall, which insisted that the studio trim the picture to under two hours. It was cut again for a theatrical reissue in 1979, and then expanded for a DVD restoration. It's all confusing, I must admit, but what we just saw was the movie audiences enjoyed in its original 1971 release. Up next, another flight of fantasy from the 1980s. 